You guys are going to see a lot of posts this week on social media about the chance of snow in the Carolinas as well as the Charlotte area. So before that happens, I want to talk to you about the difference between deterministic and ensemble model data. So a deterministic model run is taking your best available data, what you expect initial conditions to be at that time, run the computers, and boom, you got a forecast. But now this is just one of an infinite number of possibilities. So the way to get around this is taking that same best available data and changing the initial conditions just a bit and rerunning, typically between 12 to 51 times, put together as an average, and now you have an ensemble or an average of those different initial conditions. I wanna use this example of today's American model where earlier it was showing widespread snow potential in Charlotte. That's the deterministic, so just one model run based on one solution and the ensemble, which shows none of that. In fact, nothing at all, zero zilch, only snow in the mountains. How do you know which one is right? Well, what you want to see is consistency between the deterministic and the ensemble, as well as consistency between runs. And unfortunately, we're just not seeing that with this solution so far this week. The GFS regular deterministic has been wilding out almost every single run, jumping back and forth, one showing snow, one showing nothing, while the ensemble has been pretty consistent with all that snow staying in the mountains. So I promise we'll continue to keep a close eye on it. There still is the chance that we could see a few flurries this week in Charlotte, but as of right now, I'm not convinced still cautiously optimistic, so make sure you're staying tuned for any updates.